three-way switches allow for controlling a light fixture, from two separate locations, these are usually used at the top, and bottom of a flight of stairs, or at two different entrances to a room. What follows, are several wiring diagrams, that can be used to map three-way lighting circuits. Depending on the location of the power source, in relation to the switches and lights. Three-way switches have three terminals to carry circuit electricity, and one terminal, for a ground wire. Of the three circuit terminals, one is called the common, and the other two are known as travelers. The common terminal may be labeled and is usually a different color than the traveler terminals. Depending on the manufacturer, the travelers may be on opposite sides of the device, or the two terminals may be on the same side. In any case, the common terminal will be distinguished from the travelers in some way. The common terminal will always be connected to a hot wire, either from the source, or on the light fixture. These connections can be reversed if it's more convenient, as long as one of the three-way common terminals connects to the hot source and the other one connects to the hot on the load, these circuits will work properly. The traveler terminals will always be connected from switch to switch. Travelers never connect to a device load or to a source wire. It doesn't matter which traveler terminal is used for which traveler wire, reversing them should make no difference. In this diagram, the electrical source is at the first switch, and the light is located at the end of the circuit. A three-wire cable runs between the switches, and a two-wire cable runs to the light. The black and red wires between switch number one, and switch number two, are connected to the traveler terminals. The hot source is connected to the common terminal on switch number one, and the common terminal on switch number two, connects to the hot terminal on the light. The power source in this circuit, is at the first switch, and the light fixture is located between switch number one, and switch number two. A three-wire cable runs between each switch and the light fixture. The hot source wire is connected to the common terminal, on switch number one. The common terminal on switch number two, is connected to the hot terminal on the light. The traveler wires are spliced in the fixture box to run between the traveler terminals on the switches, they are not connected to the light. In this diagram, the power source for the circuit is at the light fixture, and the two switches come after the light. A two-wire cable runs from the light to switch number one and a three-wire cable runs between switch number one, and switch number two. The hot source wire is spliced in the light box to the white cable wire running to the first switch box. There it is spliced to the black wire, running to the second switch box, which is then connected to the common terminal, on switch number two. When a white wire is used for hot like this, it's marked with black tape or paint at the ends to identify it as hot. Back at the light fixture, the hot terminal on the light is connected to the black wire running to the common terminal on switch number one. At switch number 1, the red and white wires running to switch number 2 are used as travelers, connecting the traveler terminals between the two switches. Again, the white wire is marked with black on the ends to identify it as hot. In this arrangement, the power source for the circuit is at the light fixture, which is located in the middle of the circuit. A three-wire cable runs to the switches on each side of the light. At the light, the hot source wire is spliced to the black wire, running to the common terminal on switch number 2. The hot terminal on the light fixture, is connected to the black wire running to the common terminal on switch number 1. The red and white cable wires, are spliced in the fixture box, and run to the traveler terminals on both switches. They don't connect to the light fixture. It is good practice to mark the white wire if it is being used as a hot wire. In this case the white wire is marked with black tape on both ends to identify it as hot. Stay tuned to this site, as I will be diving into more information on electrical installations. In the meantime, take advantage of the availability of my 50-page electrical power crib sheets, if you haven't already downloaded them. These are extremely valuable while viewing my courses, as well as a recall of the pertinent formulas and information after the fact. Simply fill out the information requested, when you go to this website. https, colon, forward slash, forward slash, lowercase bit, dot, ly, forward slash, four, seven, uppercase y, uppercase b, three, lowercase v and lowercase h. As I said, stay tuned for future releases on this site that will provide you with more on my courses. You can also directly access my stand store courses, at this website. https, colon, forward slash, forward slash, lowercase stan, dot, store forward slash, uppercase g, uppercase v, uppercase b.